Hey, this is Josh from Josh Builds, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this solar car right here. So as you can see, it's not too hard um, to build. There's not too many components to it. It's a fairly simple car. And uh, you can see how it works right there. So this car is fairly nice. I like it because it's made out of household materials and um, stuff you can get from the dollar store. And uh, it does have a battery backup which just helps it perform better. <clears throat> so first we're going to start off with this friction activated car. That's what it's advertised as. I found it at the dollar store. And um, basically what we want from the friction activated car is the gearbox inside, as you can see. Now these three solar panels here I got from solar pot lights from the dollar store and then I also bought a um, set just for the wheels from the dollar store as well. And here's a motor, I'll post a link to where you can buy that. So we're going to start off by soldering wires onto the solar panels. My um, The wires that were on my solar panels I accidentally ripped them off. <coughs> So we're going to solder wires onto the positive and negative ends of all the solar panels, as you can see there. Now we're going to wire them in series. So um, series to wire in series, you wire the positive of one solar panel to the negative of the other. <coughs> and then do that again. And again, the positive of that solar panel to the negative of um, the other two that are connected. Now we're just going to glue the solar panels together to give it some structure. And then we'll glue the wires down just to get them out of the way. We don't want them flailing around, getting in contact with stuff. <clears throat> and we leave two open ends, the positive and the negative end. Now as you can see I just glued a part of the gearbox there so it doesn't slip and then I'm going to glue the wheels onto the, um, the axle from the gearbox. And as you can see when you spin that the wheels spin but much slower because of the mechanical advantage we get. <clears throat> now I'm going to attach the solar panels onto the um, gearbox. Don't want to stop anything from rotating though and we want to secure those solar panels on real well so uh, be generous with the glue and that is the connection as you can see there now I'm just adding a couple of toothpicks just to give it some more structure and that's on the bottom side now as you can see here we have the motor and um, I'm going to hook it up to a power source and basically what we want to do is we want to give the um, the axle of the motor we want to make it higher friction so I'm going to it's spinning right now and I'm just adding glue onto it and we want it to be nice and round the glue so I'm just gonna push it down a little with my finger and then pull off any extra just off the front and then I'll just cut that little piece off the front right there So now I'm going to mount the motor onto the gearbox and I want it to spin against that big metal weight right there. Just the axle of the motor against the big metal weight. And so I'm going to just glue the uh, motor down onto the frame. <clears throat> and there you can see what it looks like. Now we're going to make the uh, front axle and uh, for that just a straw works. I'm going to glue the straw onto the front of the solar panel. And then I'll go ahead and um, stick a, a toothpick through and attach a wheel onto each side of it. And again those wheels I got from um, just a kit at the dollar store, the kit you saw in the beginning. 
Now attaching a voltage to the um, motor, you can see the wheels spin and the car wants to take off on me. Now I have this battery, I'll also post a link to where you can get the battery from. And we're going to glue the battery into the right between the solar panels and we want to wire the battery, the positive of the battery to the positive of the solar panels and the negative of the battery to the negative of the solar panels. And uh, later in the video I will show a, um, a picture of the whole circuit, how it's all wired up and I'll also leave um, a link or a picture somewhere um, that you can look at on your own time if you want to look at the picture for longer to understand it. So I just twisted the wires together, positive of the battery to positive of the solar panel, negative of the battery to negative of the solar panel. And that just basically allows us to charge the battery with the solar panel. Now I have a switch here and I'm soldering one side onto the switch. Now the next side of the switch, so one side of it is connected to the uh, positive of the battery, right? Now the other side is going to be connected to the positive of the motor of the switch and then the other side is connected to the negative of the solar panel and battery. So it makes a kind of loop and uh, you can you saw the picture show up, you can take a look at that picture again. And now it's finished. So as you can see this is our finished product. So thanks for watching my video and um, as always please like and subscribe and uh, you can always check out my channel for more videos and uh, my website for more projects like this. Thanks.